Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel and welcome to another Panini pack opening session. Today we're going to open 15 more packs of the World Cup stickers and hopefully make some more progress in our album. Um, World Cup is slowly approaching, we're less than a month away now, so you know, World Cup fever is really upon us. Squads have been announced, there's a bit of uproar about some players. Uh, Harry Kane was today and that's the England captain. Uh, yesterday, uh, Belgium causing some uproar, no uh, Ryden Angelen in their squad. Mauro Riccardi left out of Argentina. There's some big names missing from this World Cup, and I'm not just talking about the nations that haven't qualified, like the Italy's and the Netherlands. Some of the qualified nations have left out some big players, France included. France have an incredible squad, and players like Martial are being left behind. So today we're going to open 15 more packs. This will be about a 15 20 minute video. Uh, the last one of these I did wasn't too successful. We've got a lot of players and not a lot of other stuff. So hopefully today, with these 15 packs, we will um, hopefully get a few different players and hopefully not too many duplicates. We didn't actually get a lot of duplicates. We just had a lot of player stickers and not a lot of other things. So we'll see how we go. So let's start off with pack number one and let's see who's going to kick off today's pack opening session. Now, again, duplicates. I remember a few, uh, but not all of them. And, uh, yeah, again, pronunciations, I will try my best. And the first player today is a Saudi, and he is a midfielder, and his name is Abdul Marek al Khaibri. I don't know if he's good. I don't know if we have him, but there he is. Player number two, not a player, it's a badge, it's a shiny sticker, and it is Switzerland. I know for a fact we don't have that, I've never seen that before. It's a pretty cool logo, actually, I quite like it. Uh, number three in the first pack is a Portuguese uh, forward from Borussia Dortmund, Rafael Guerrero. That's uh, the uh, Portuguese forward, Guerrero. Number four is uh, Spanish goalkeeper, David De Gea. Uh, we may or may not have him, I can't actually remember. And the fifth and final player... Uh, plays for Iceland and is in the championship and it is uh, Aaron Gunnarsson, the Cardiff midfielder. Like I said, a lot of Icelandic players in the championship. And that's another one there. I think they might have Gunnarsson though, I'm not quite sure. Let's go into pack number two. And sticker number one in pack two is a team sticker and it is the host city, host nation Russia. Not the host city, Russia is a country, not a city. Uh, the host, host nation, I'm going to say that again, host nation Russia. Uh, player number two, or sticker number two, Nigerian midfielder Mikel Agu from uh, Bursa Spore. Uh, no, don't know, there he is. Uh, Colombian defender, sorry, no, Colombian forward, Tierfilo Gutierrez from Atletico, who uh, is a Colombian side, there he is. Uh, up next, we have a Danish midfielder from Werder Bremen, and it is Thomas Delaney, there he is. And the final player in this pack is a Russian, and it's a defender from Ruben Kazan, Fedor Kudliashov. There we go, that's pack number two. Um, I don't recognise some of these players, so hopefully this will be some of the things to come, and not a lot of duplicates. Into pack number three. And we start off with only our third Brazilian player overall. Brazil is really looking light at the moment, and it's Casemiro, who uh, plays for Real Madrid. We finally have a third Brazilian, uh, so that is uh, Alisson, Marcelo, and now Casemiro and the badge. Brazil. Uh, we have ourselves a team sticker and it is Croatia. We might have that. I can't remember if we have Croatia sticker or not. Uh, next up is a German defender from Köln and it is Jonas Hector. There's the next player in the pack. Uh, and then we have uh, Croatian forward from Hoffenheim, Andre Kramaric. Um, is he the one that played for Leicester? I can't remember. And we have ourselves a stadium and it is Rostov on Don. Uh, we've got a few stadiums, I don't know if that's one of them or not. Up next, and this is pack number four, we have, uh, first ticket is a Spanish defender, Nacho Monreal, of course, Arsenal left back. Uh, next up we have a Russian midfielder, Alexander Golovin. There he is, plays for CSKA. Number three is a Polish defender, I know for a fact this is a... Uh, uh, duplicate. I think we might have two of them actually. Michael Pazdan, uh, I think that's our third one of him. Uh, and up, up next is a Costa Rican midfielder from Club Sport Herediano, who are a Costa Rican club. Randall Azofeifa, uh, I don't recognise that player, I think that's a new one. And uh, someone that's not going to the World Cup, French forward Anthony Martial. He's uh, not been announced in the squad, so at the moment he's staying at home. Pack number five. Let's see who we got here. We've got one shiny so far. Hopefully we'll get a few more. 
Um, we start off with another Icelandic player, a forward, uh, Burnley, Johan Bergen Munson. There he is. Um, big fan of his. I quite like him. He's a former Charlton midfielder as well. He's good. Uh, next, next up is a Portuguese midfielder from Sporting, William Carvalho, the European Championship winner, trophy holder. Uh, forward from Panama and Alajuelense, Costa Rican club, Abdiel Arroyo. Next up. Uh, and then we have ourselves a Peruvian midfielder. Peru's looking pretty full. Christian Cueva is the player. Um, I don't know if we have him or not. We've got a few Peruvian players. That might be one of the players for Sao Paulo. And finally, it's another team sticker, and it is Iceland. I think this is number six. Let's see who we've got here. Uh, we start off with a defender from Panama and New York Red Bulls, Michael Murillo. That's number one. Number two is a Serbian midfielder, um, very highly rated by myself and by many people. Man United's Nemanja Matic. Number three is a Mexican defender, I think he's a right back for Sevilla, Miguel Lyon. Uh, next up we have a Nigerian forward, I think we've got this guy in the last pack opening session, Moses Simon from AA Ghent in Belgium. And then finally, uh, Egyptian uh, forward, plays for Stoke, relegated. Uh, Ramadan Sobi is the next one. Or the last one in that pack. Next pack, number seven, I think this is now. Let's see who we've got here. Uh, well, first one's a shiny. Ooh, it's a, this is a nice sticker. Um, it's the bottom half of a shiny sticker. I think this goes in the very first page. Uh, now, we might have that one, or we might have the other half. I can't remember. But that's the first player in this pack. Uh, number two is from Panama, a, play, a, a page that we almost have full actually, I think we're only missing about six from Panama. Uh, this guy plays for Club, Club Universitario de Deportes in Peru and it is Alberto Quintero. There he is. And next we have an Argentine forward, a player again that's not going to the World Cup. Mauro Riccardi left out of the Argentina squad, surprisingly so, as he was the joint highest scorer in Serie A. That's just unbelievable. Uh, another Icelandic player, a defender this time from Rostov in Russia. Ragnar Sigurdsson is next up. And the final player is another Argentine. It's a midfielder, plays for Benfica. I think he is in the squad. Eduardo Salvio. Um, so after back in like the FM14, FM15 days, he was always a decent player to get on one for a season. Don't know about now though. I think this is pack number eight. And here we have a team sticker. I think it's one we already have. It's Portugal. There that is. Number two is an Australian defender from Jiangsu Suning in China. Uh, well, I'm, I can guess where he does his shopping. His name's Trent Sainsbury. So there he is. Does his shopping in um, Asda, I think. Uh, our fourth Brazilian player, probably the best one. Um, well, some would say Neymar. Um, talented player. I wouldn't say he's the best player in Brazil to have. I don't know who that would be, but Neymar certainly talented. Uh, next up is a German midfielder, Arsenal, Mesut Ozil. Um, we'll wait and see what happens with him, with, uh, him in the World Cup. He's had a, he's not had a bad season of Arsenal, but you know Ozil is always subject to a little bit of criticism, isn't he? Uh, the final player in this pack is Belgian defender, uh, plays for Tottenham, Toby Alderweireld. As the last player in that pack, uh, into I think this is number nine. I think this is pack nine. Uh, start off with a, a Japanese goalkeeper, Shusaku Nishikawa. I think we have a Japanese goalkeeper, but I think it's the other one because I think the one we have is like in his 40s. Is that like really old? But there's him. Uh, then we have a Saudi defender from Al Halal in Saudi Arabia, Abdullah Al Zori. There he is. And then we have a Danish uh, forward from Leipzig in Germany, uh, Yusuf Paulsen. Up next, we have a French left back. I've used him in this game in Football Manager 18, Lucas Digne. And the final player in this pack is a Mexican midfielder from Real Betis, Andres Guardado. Had a couple of shinies today, but again, not as many as I would have liked. And uh, the first player in this pack, Colombian midfielder from Deportivo Cali, Abel Aguilar. I'm pretty certain that's a duplicate. Uh, Uruguayan forwards, PSG, I mean, in my opinion, he's one of one of the most overrated players in the world, Edinson Gavani. I mean, the amount of, of shots this guy's misses 
I mean, he scores a lot, but he misses a lot as well. I think he's very overrated. Uh, Egyptian defender plays in the Premier League, uh, West Brom. Uh, Ahmed Higazi, centre back. Uh, next up is a Serbian defender from Besiktas. His name is Dusko Tozic. And the final player in this pack is a Swiss forward from Galatasaray, Erin Derdiok. Not a player I'm familiar with, but there he is. Into pack number 11. And uh, what do we have here? We have the goalkeeper from Peru. Plays for Tiburones Rojos de Veracruz in Mexico. His name is Pedro Gallese. There we go. Uh, next up, we have a host city. Uh, one that I don't think we have, and it is Samara. I think we're only missing two or three of the host city stickers, so we're doing well there. There's a host city. Uh, we have an Australian midfielder. I know we have this guy because I likened him to uh, pro wrestler Martin Kirby. It's Aaron Moy from uh, Huddersfield Town. Next up, we have a Peruvian defender from Club Universitario de Deportes, Aldo Corzo. I think I've already said this guy's name today. And the final player in this pack is a Colombian defender from Barcelona. His name is Yeri Mina. Pack number 12 is next. And we start off with a stadium, and it is Moscow. It is the Spartak Stadium, 45,000 capacity. Number two is a Danish defender from Udinese. His name is Jens Striger Larsen. It's a cool name. I like that. Number three is another Brazilian. They're starting to come in thick and fast now. Uh, Chelsea's Willian, who's uh, not very happy with, uh, with his current manager, or, well, maybe soon to be future manager. Um, I like Willian. I think he's one of Chelsea's best players. Uh, number four is a Swedish forward from Toulouse, is Ola Toivonen. And finally, an Iranian defender from Akmat Grozny, Milad Mahamadi. There he is, and I've got to go answer the phone. Okay, apologies for that. Uh, we've got three more packs to go, so let's uh, jump into these. I just did the Iranian guy, didn't I? Yeah, so a little bit sidetracked then. Uh, but three packs to go. Let's see who we got. Uh, well, we've got another Iranian, so there we go. Uh, from Iran and from Estiglal in Iran. Payman Montezeri, defender. Uh, I'm sure if you have him or not, I don't know. Our next uh, French defender, Lauren Koscielny, Arsenal. Is he in the squad? I don't actually know. Here he is. We have a team sticker, and it's Colombia. Uh, we might have that. I think we might have the badge and the sticker from them. The badge and the team, rather. Uh, another Brazilian, finally, they're starting to come through. Danny Alves, uh, PSG, left back. And finally, Korean uh, midfielder from Al Duhail. Uh, Nam Tae I think we have him. There he is. And uh, just two packs left. So we have ourselves what's in here. Let's open that back to front. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, from Spain. Spain's another page that's very, not very full at all. It might even have less players than Brazil now. Andres Iniesta, though. Um, he's uh, just played his final match for Barcelona. So, you know, they're saying that they're going to retire his shirt. I mean, the amount of amazing players Barcelona have had. I think they said that they have no numbers left. But Iniesta, tremendous player for them for, God, several years. Uh, from Argentina, it's a midfielder from Paris Saint-Germain, Angel Di Maria. Didn't have the best of times in that um, short-lived Premier League stint, but Di Maria. Uh, Belgian defender from Manchester City, Vincent Company. There's Vincent Company. And then we have an Iranian midfielder from Persepolis in Iran. His name is Vahid Amiri. And the final player in this pack uh, is Spanish. It's a midfielder. I think we already have him. I think we've got him in the last pack open, and it is... Uh, Coke or Coke? I think it's Coke. Uh, into the final pack of the video. And we have Nigerian forward, Chelsea, Victor Moses, uh, of course, Wigan, Liverpool as well. Was he on loan at Stoke as well? I can't actually remember. Uh, Tunisian forward. I don't think I've had a Tunisian yet today. Plays for Al Etifak in Saudi Arabia. His name is. Fakhleddin Ben Youssef. There he is. And then the next player is Nigerian. Plays for Hull. I think he's a Chelsea loanee. I mean, there's plenty of them. And his name is Ola Aina. I think 
think he's a Chelsea loan here. The name sounds familiar. Uh, from Colombia and uh, Sampdoria, it's uh, forward Divan Zapata. And the final player today, not a player, it's a team, and it's France. So, good thing to end on. We've got a couple of shinies. We've got the odd stadium and host cities. Got a good four or five team stickers, so not too bad at all. I'm going to get those in the book, and then we'll see uh, where we sit. Incredibly, of those 15 packs, 75 stickers, only 12 duplicates. That's all. That's actually really good. That's just over two packs out of 15 on average that have duplicates. So that's pretty good. I'm very happy about that. And we've made some good progress in the book. There's a couple of pages where but only about three or four stickers from done. So that's really good. Let's have a look then. So uh, we got the bottom half of this sticker here, but we are still missing the top half of both of those. We've got the trophy and we have the ball. And then this is one that you can print off, I think, or um, get from the internet. Don't have that one. In the stadiums, we're still missing Ekaterinburg, Kalingrad, uh, Nizhny and Sochi. We've got a couple more stadiums today, though. Host cities, I think we've got one more today. We're only missing two now. We're missing Sochi and Saransk. So that's looking pretty good. On to the actual nations themselves. Russia, we made a bit of progress. We've got uh, six stickers left to get there. Saudi Arabia, we've got a couple. We're still missing quite a few there, though. Egypt, I think we've got one or two Egyptian players, but we've still got a long way to go there. Um, Uruguay, I think we've got one player, but we've got quite a few on the right-hand side. Actually, almost finished a page over there. Uh, Portugal, still got a lot of work. The only Portuguese player we've got today was uh, Carvalho, who's a duplicate, so Portugal still needs some work. Uh, Spain does as well. I think we've got a couple of Spaniards today, so that's not too bad. Uh, Morocco, I don't think we've got a Moroccan today. I don't recall a Moroccan player at all, so that still needs a bit of work. Then we've got one or two Iranians today, but that's still got a long way to go. Uh, got a few French players today. Got Martial, uh, Koscielny and uh, Digne. So France have uh, got a bit more to him. We also got the duplicate of the France sticker, which I unpeeled before realising it was a duplicate. So I had to kind of put it back on, which is a bit of a pain. Australia, still got a few players to get. We've got Moy again today. We've also got Sainsbury. Uh, Peru is uh, not looking too bad. The right hand side is almost done. Just three stickers left there, so Peru's not looking too bad. Denmark, we've got a couple more players for Denmark today, so that's looking okay. Argentina still got a bit of a way to go, but we got uh, Salvio and Icardi today, so that's not too bad. Got the badge and the um, the uh, team for that. Iceland, we've got a few more players, but again, still need quite a lot. Croatia, uh, we've got Kramaric, I think that might have been a duplicate though, I'm not quite sure, but Croatia, we still need a few players. Nigeria almost done. We only need six, so Nigeria is looking pretty good. Uh, Brazil, we finally actually start to have a few more Brazilians now. We did just have three stickers at first, but we got more than that today, so that's good. Uh, Switzerland, I think we've got one more Swiss player. Who was that? Uh, I was Dirty Ock in the bottom right, and we've got the badge there as well. Costa Rica, um, left hand side is looking a bit bare. Serbia, um, Got a good bunch of like good, good cluster of players, but still missing quite a few. Germany is not looking great. We got a uh, Hector today, but that's all. Uh, Mexico, we got uh, Hector. No, we didn't get Hector here. We've got Bernardo, didn't we? Uh, Sweden, well, one of our least full pages now with Brazil. Sweden not looking too good. Korea, we got one Korean today, but that was Tahi, and he was a duplicate. But Korea still needs seven. Uh, Belgium is here, and we've got a few players from Belgium. We're only missing seven there. Panama is the closest to being four. We only need three stickers. We need the team, we need uh, Gabriel Gomez, and we need uh, Mikado. So we've nearly finished Panama. Uh, and Tunisia almost finished a page on the right here. We're just missing a couple of players. Left hand side is looking a bit bare. Uh, didn't get any English players today, so that's a bit unfortunate, but um, hopefully we'll get some more in the future. I'll do another opening probably sometime next week. Uh, Poland. Uh, did we get a poll today? I think we only got one, and that was Pazdan, the duplicate defender. Uh, Senegal, we did not get a Senegalese player today, I know that for a fact, but Senegal, we only need seven. Uh, Colombia, I think we made a little bit of progress today, but we still need a few. Uh, and Japan, again, I think we got one. We got the goalkeeper today, I think that was it. Uh, and then we didn't get anything, again, for these pages, for the uh, the legend pages. That still needs a lot of work. We're missing eight stickers there, so we haven't done very well with our, with our legends. 
but that is the book so uh, once again I will thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like down below leave comments if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube do hit that subscribe button don't forget to click the notification bell to uh, receive notifications for when I upload or go live otherwise you might not get them uh, and I'll see you very soon I will do another pack opening next week I've got 30 packs to get through so I will do at least two more videos and then if I still haven't finished a page I might go out and buy some more I'm determined to finish a team before the World Cup starts so that's my goal so we'll see if that happens or not uh, I'll have some more Maidstone videos out this week they'll be one out tomorrow uh, and yeah, just 12 dupes today that's good the swaps tin is looking pretty full still we've got probably about about 60 stickers in total but as you can see got a good chunk of swaps there so yeah uh, I will never leave you thank you for watching guys and I will see you soon goodbye <laughs>